With the exception of the lack of access to care and treatment, we know that inhibitors are, are recognized as the most serious challenge in hemophilia care. What must the World Federation of Hemophilia, regulators, pharmaceutical companies, physicians and patients do to make a difference in this area? The clinical trials really may not necessarily be able to pick up uh, problems that are very rare. I think to do the clinical investigation in previously untreated patients is something different and has also to do with the situation we are now facing that there are so many long-acting products, so-called long-acting products in the pipeline and under development. There needs to be a more proactive approach, I think, on determining whether or not patients are at risk of developing inhibitors, so whether they're phenotypically predisposed to that, uh, really understand that. I think a, a, a major step forward could be that patients get a unique identifier blinded in the hemophilia centers where they are treated. I really believe it's, it's appropriate to consider it a public health issue. 